With the employee information in place, the next step is to add the cost of training. Go to the center of the application under the header, Training Cost and Match. Here you will see the Add button. Once the new page opens up, scroll down to the open cells and select the applicant's name from the drop-down menu. If you only have one applicant, it will already populate in the cell. Complete the information ensuring that the wage and hour is the same wage and hour proposed on your grant calculation worksheet. Open the grant calculation worksheet, scroll to the summary and tools area in yellow, minimize your sheet, For filling in the cells training cost, you will want to refer to your worksheet. Carry over line 91, which will be filled in with a dollar figure, and place that here. Open your worksheet again. Look for row 92, which is your training match if met with wages, minimize your worksheet, carry that number here. If you do not have a match met with wages, leave the zero. When you are completed with this information, click Save. You will repeat this step for each individual who is requesting training funding by going back and selecting Add. This will populate your training cost and match area with amounts under training cost, the name of the individual going, the training match required, if there's a cash match, or a wage match, and your total award for training alone. The same will be applied for your in-state transportation or your out-of-state transportation, depending upon where the training is held and if you are requesting funding to support transportation and lodging. If you are in-state, you will click the Add button Scroll to the fields at the bottom. Again, open your grant calculation worksheet. Take from row 93 for in-state, which we'll calculate here, and insert. The same for your match with wages. If you have that, you can take from row 94 and insert here. Click Save when you are done and repeat the steps for each individual that is requesting travel. I'm going to go back to our main budget sheet. The same steps are involved for out-of-state transportation. You click Add Scroll to the bottom. This will come from row 95 of the grant calculation worksheet. Open up your worksheet and select the figure from here. Carry it over and insert here. Click Save. I'm going back. At the very bottom of the page, you will see totals. These totals should match exactly what you have stated on your grant calculation worksheet. Once this is complete, scroll to the top. 
you'll see that your save button is grayed out, meaning all of the information is there. Scroll to the center, click mark as complete. This will take you back to the component section of your application forms and show that you have a completion check mark with the time date stamp. Close your grant calculation worksheet, but save it for future upload in the next section of our grant application.